Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Seems Easy, and I'm Diane. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these seat belt cushion covers that protects your neck from the seat belt just kind of scraping or cutting into you. These make great gifts. They're great for kids. They're great for anybody. They're so easy, and I'm going to show you every step. Stay right here. You're going to need two squares of flannel. I recommend pre-washing it. Nine inches by nine inches. And you can just use any remnants of uh, polar fleece that you've got. It doesn't really matter as long as it doesn't show through your flannel. And these are just some, some pieces I have left over from other projects. These fleece squares need to be seven and a half inches square. And then you're gonna need two pieces, or one, one piece of Velcro, seven inches long. And hopefully you can see that I have rounded the corners of the Velcro. Then you're, now I use basting adhesive to adhe adhere the fleece to the wrong side of my flannel. You can, if you like, use fusible fleece that's a little easier to use, but this works. And if you have some of this, great. If you don't, you can just do a basting stitch around here to hold it in place while you're working with it. Okay, I have a piece of parchment paper. You can pretty much use anything to put behind the piece you're gonna be spraying. And my fleece has a dark side and a light side. And just because this is a lighter colored flannel, I'm gonna fuse the lighter side to the outside. So just, just lightly spray that. And then Okay, we have that fused. Now we're going to just put right sides together. Just make sure it's smooth. We're going to put right sides together. And we're going to sew a half inch seam all the way around this outer edge, leaving about, you know, four or five inches open on one side. Now I have the half inch seam all the way around and it's open right there. I'm gonna trim these corners. Without cutting the stitching. So just going to reach in and put my thumb into each corner with a finger on the outside and push it. Do that for each corner. And then just push those corners all the way through to the other side. Now I like to just take a pushing tool that's good for corners and just work those out just to the, to the very corner edge so that it's a nice crisp corner. Don't push hard because you'll push through the uh, stitching because it's very, very narrow right there. Now we've got the basics done. We just want to press this at this point. Look into the opening, make sure that those seam allowances are turned under one half inch before you press it. Okay, 
we've got this nice nicely pressed what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine and I'm just gonna sew top stitching a quarter inch all the way around from the outer edge okay I've done my top stitching all the way around and that closed up that opening this is going to be the top so or the outer side we're going to put our fuzzy side of the velcro or what they call the loop an inch and a half from this edge kind of right at those top stitching lines so just going to lightly pin this Now, that's an inch and a half from the edge. Now we're going to flip it over and we're going to put the hook or scratchy side just over that stitching line. But not all the way to the edge. And we're just going to pin that a couple of times. Now we're going to take it to the sewing machine and on each one of these velcro strips we're going to make we're going to go around the whole strip two times with a three millimeter stitch and we're going to try to round on those corners very comfortable and this is loose enough where it will slide and you want it to but once it's snug against your body with the seat belt attached or hooked in it's not going to be sliding but it's adjustable and you'll find that you don't really want to be in the car without it